Hi guys, Kimberly here. So I wanted to do another product review and the giveaway. Um, I have not reached 300 subscribers just yet, but I wanted to go ahead and show you what the giveaway is going to be once I do hit 300. Um, and I also, before I show you this product, <coughs> excuse me, I want to go ahead and tell you the rules. You must be a subscriber of mine here on YouTube, so if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click subscribe. Make sure that you um, comment below this video that you would like to be entered in my giveaway. Um, and also, um, add me on my Facebook fan page. I'll include the link below to that. And um, I will do the um, video showing you guys um, the whole list of everybody that will be entered in the giveaway. So if you don't comment below this video to be entered in the giveaway, you won't be entered in. To show you guys what I am going to do as a product review and giveaway, it is the Raz Baby Raspberry Teether. It looks like this in the packaging. Um, it's non-toxic, 100% silicone, safe and durable. It gently massages and um, cools the baby's tender gums. And it's got a bumpy texture, which aids in the teething process. And it's a hands-free, um, let me get it out. It's a hands-free teether, which soothes the baby's gums while they play. Um, it's a little bumpy texture, which resembles a raspberry. Um, this product can be frozen for extra um, soothing comfort. Um, for care instructions, you want to sterilize it. <coughs> um, after you open it, you would like to um, put it in boiling water for at least five minutes and then take it out, <laughs> rinse it off, and let it cool. And you want to squeeze the nipple to expel any water that may have gotten in there. That way, when you put it in your baby's mouth, um, it doesn't scold them. Um, you never want to dip a pacifier or a teether of any kind in a sweet substance because that can aid in early tooth decay. Um, and also, when you get a teether or a nipple for a new bottle or um, a pacifier or anything like that that goes in your baby's mouth, always, always inspect it before you give it to them because it may have a piece, like it may be something defective, it may have a piece that's broke off or just hanging off a little bit, and it may not take very much for your little one to suck it right off <laughs> and then it get in their esophagus and they choke on it. So always inspect your baby's products before use. You want to replace a teether or a pacifier within a month or two. Um, of using it. If you have a baby that's used a teether maybe, you know, two weeks out of a month, then it's still good to hold on to. Now what I normally do is I always rinse off a pacifier before I give it to my little one. Um, even if it's been in a concealed case or a Ziploc baggie. Um, I always rinse it off because if you don't, you just leave it sitting now and then you pop it in your baby's mouth. It's got dust and bacteria that's built up on it and um, your baby can actually develop thrush uh, from that kind of thing. So you always want to take good, good care of anything that's going to go in your child's mouth. Um, this product is not a toy and it is not a pacifier, although Caleb tries to think it is when he first gets it in his mouth. He tries to suck on it and then he's like, wait a minute, this feels a little different. So then he will um, hold it hold, by the little handle here and he'll just kind of chew on it. Um, this is for babies three plus months and it's BPA free. Um, like I said, it's 100% silicone. It's very soft, very durable. You never want to attach like a little, um, like a passy attacher or anything to this because it doesn't have a spot for one. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could loop something around here, but the fact that this is something that they're going to, they can hold on to and chew on, you don't want to put them at risk for getting something around their neck and strangling them. So, um, this is basically, like I said, a hands-free teether. They can just put it in their mouth or hold on to it and chew on it themselves. If they drop it, Rinse it off, give it back to them. Um, I would not recommend you to put any kind of a passy clip or anything around it to hold on to their shirt. Um, but yeah, this is um, the Raz Baby Raspberry Teether that I will do for my first giveaway to my first 300 subscribers. Like I said, I'll go over the rules again. Go ahead and comment below this video that you would like to be entered in my giveaway. This is how I'm going to collect all the people to enter y'all in. Um, I'm not going to just go and look at my list of people that I've got that have subscribed to my channel because I have or I have subscribers that are not active users. So um, comment below this video you want to be entered in the giveaway. Add me on my Facebook fan page. I will do a video showing who all will be entered in the giveaway once I hit 300. Once I hit 300 subscribers, I'll give it 24 hours for you to continue to enter in below this video uh, just by saying you'd like to enter in the giveaway. But I'm going to let you choose if you want one of this color which is red and then the green or you can get one that has the clear blue nipple 
and then it's still the green down here. So whichever one you want, I will let you choose. And um, if you have any questions or comments regarding this product review and giveaway, just put it below. Other than that, if you want to be entered in the giveaway, just please put, I would like to be entered. Um, this way I know everybody that wants to be entered. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.